Hello, welcome to What's Bubbling a Zim. I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at a workshop on physics. In the last bubbling, we took a look at a workshop on asteroids. Ooh, cool. So check that out if you didn't get to see that. So let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com, and we'll go down to the Learn section here. Click Learn. Learn is a great place to get started in coding or coding on the canvas, coding with Zim, all of those things. And there's a tutorial section with lots of examples for basic level and mid-level and uh, right into advanced level. So lots of things there, as you can see. But we're taking a look at the workshop, which is underneath workshops. There's uh, the workshops are roughly three hours for teachers to teach in three hours. It's broken down into three parts, each of them, one, two, and three. Here's a, a workshop on the general canvas, how to um, build in the canvas world. Here's a workshop on coding and a workshop on making a simple game and the asteroids one that we mentioned. Um, we've already done a what's bubbling on the asteroids workshop. So have a look at that. This one is on physics. Now there's no way to actually see the examples here. You have to click on the red link there and get the zip file. However, uh, even if you're not teaching it, you're welcome to go in there and get the zip file and then you can work through what the teacher would be teaching. So um, no problem. And hey, if you like that, teach it to somebody, teach it to a friend or you know, even start a workshop yourself. Okay, so if we were to click on that and get the zip, I've already got it. Let's uh, close this here and we'll see what it comes with. Workshop three, two, and one. Most of the time, those build on one another. So we start building, say, the asteroids game. We, it's simple in number one, two, we add more, and three, we're almost done. Uh, in this case, in physics, we've got three different files that we're working on. The final file here is a data visualization. Uh, isn't that neat? These are ages of people in my neighborhood. There's, there's some older ones here with an older kid, you know, and there's some, some ones with younger kids and stuff. So that's physics, um, in particular box 2D uh, working in Zim. So the second one, simple, we just, it's, a, it's based on linkage. So that's a bit of a shorter one. So you can spend more time on the third part there. And then the first one's a soccer ball. This introduces you to shapes in the physics world and how to map Zim, um, Zim shapes onto them. So there we've knocked, knocked over a triangle. Cool, huh? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I guess that can happen in soccer. Uh, neat, huh? So we'll close that. Let's take a look at some of the code. You get a zip file here. Here's the, the physics. If we open this up, there's a, a folder for the teacher, a folder for the, the workshop. They're similar, except the folder for the teacher has physics one, physics two, and physics three in it that uh, have steps on what we're building. So. If we scroll down in physics one, for instance, there's create the physics world. Oh, note step zero was above to import the libraries. So yeah, step zero to import the libraries for physics. And sorry, uh, this is probably too small for you to see properly. But there we are, var physics equals a new Zim physics. We can set a debug mode that allows us to see the physics shapes before we even add Zim shapes. And here we are creating a a ball body. So uh, the body is the physics body. We make a physics circle and we tell it the radius. Restitution is how bouncy it is. Bouncy! And so we're going to make that ball pretty bouncy. Uh, we position the ball and then we can set physics drag and that will allow us to drag objects. Here we are making a Zim ball. So that's visually what we would see in the end. Uh, we're um, In the first case we uh, just made a circle go on to that. And there's the, um, the mapping of it. So we map the circle, the Zim circle that we made, we map that to the ball body. But then we, we go as well to show you how you can bring in a picture. And so here we are bringing in a pi picture and then we're going to map that. Probably, probably should have commented out this one, <laughs> come to think of it. Um, but we map on a picture and so forth and so on. So there's all the steps for that. The second physics, we take a look at how to do linkages, which isn't too bad. Okay, and we're linking to 
things together. I don't know where those linkages went to. Oh, here they are. It's a joint, and we make joint definitions and stuff. And in physics three, it, this is the data one. We um, have some data. We map some data. Imagine that we've got some data. We loop through that data. We uh, create the various bodies, the circle, and give it a color based on the data. We apply some damping to it and um, uh, map the body or map a circle to the body, that kind of stuff. We drag things around. And in the ticker, we do a few things as well. We're applying a force to each one. So this shows you forces in physics. We're applying a force so that they all try and point to half the stage width. So um, in other words, the middle. So they're all coming back to the middle there. Isn't that cool? Okay, so that's a workshop. Now the students, or you know, you can follow these steps too if you want. The students will get some steps. They look like this. We'll just view it in the browser. It introduces Zim and the, the workshop, what it's about, as well as the goals of the workshop to create a physics world, to add bodies such as basic shapes, to map the shapes to Zim shapes, apply forces and linkages, apply mouse interaction, uh, create shapes based on data. This is a data visualization one as well. Add labels to the visualization and apply colors to match the data. So that's the goals of this workshop. Now the steps of student see is just sort of how to get started, um, how to start, start a file from a template file, make a copy of the template file and put it in your folders where things are, what, what you're provided with. Um, open it up in an editor, change the title and go to where it says put your code here and uh, have a look at the sample button that's there, but then delete it and so forth. Then it says, follow the teacher as they go through the, uh, the workshop. So it would be up to the teacher then to, you know, read them basically, or uh, go through the code um, that is available in, in the workshop one, two, and three. Uh, cool, so that is a workshop on physics. That's a neat little app, uh, pretty straightforward to do. I think we can get that done in three hours. So, cool, I'm Inventor Dan Zen. That's uh, been a what, What's Bubbling at Zim, a workshop on physics. Uh, please have a look at that and maybe teach it. Cool, ciao, have a great day.